What's up, family? I'm out on my walk this morning. Got a late start, but yes, I have a sweatshirt on. I have a um, thermal lump under it, too. And a 50 pound bag on my back. I want to talk to you guys about something this morning. A friend of mine was talking to me yesterday. asked me to talk about where we are in our life as far as our growth and development and how do we not become arrogant once you've learned the lessons. It's an interesting topic. Because it's a thin line between becoming confident and arrogant. And sometimes people are going to see your confidence as you've been arrogant. And they're going to call you arrogant. Don't trip off of that. If you know you're not arrogant, don't trip. People are going to say all kinds of things about you in regards to your growth and development. And a lot of times, it's not going to be good. Because your growth and development is an indictment on their lack of growth and development. Say again, people are going to have all kinds of negative things to say to you about your growth and development. And the great majority of the time is going to be negative because your growth and development is an indictment on their lack of growth and development. So be it. Live your life. The thing about how not to become arrogant, how to stay humble, how are you using those life lessons? Are you using those life lessons? I always think about, I'm only talk about from my perspective. What keeps me humble is that I remember. I remember where I came from. I remember what I went through. I remember why I had to go through what I went through. And so, it's really not about me. It's about me trying to help everybody else. When I was a supervisor, I used to always tell people, when they would come to me and talking to me about how their supervisor sucked or their supervisor wasn't a good supervisor. Or when kids would talk to me and they would complain about their parents and I would always tell them the same thing remember how this feels remember what having a bad supervisor feels like remember this experience when you think your parents are yelling at you for no reason your supervisor's yelling at you or minimizing you or not giving you the credit that you deserve. Remember what this feels like. Because when you grow up or when you get in a position of authority, you have to remember 
those things because remembering those things will help you not make those same mistakes. See, what we we get caught up on is we personalize everything. And we say they were bad parent. We say they were bad supervisors. And the reality is they're there to help you learn some things. And although you may not want to be like that supervisor, although you may not want to be like that parent, that's good. That's cool. What's the lesson in it? The lesson is whatever it is that you didn't like, whatever it is that you thought was wrong, now you know how that feels so that when you get in that position, you don't make those same mistakes. Don't make the same mistakes. I just walked down to the gate. Now I'm headed back up the hill. I don't know if you guys can see the gradual incline. But don't make the same mistake that your parents made. Don't make the same mistake that your supervisor made. Remember how they made you feel. And so when I look at other people, it's never in regards to judging anybody. It's never in regards to thinking I'm better than anybody, I'm less than anybody. I look at other people and I'm trying to learn the lesson of their life for my life. What was it that they did? How can that benefit me in my life? So it's never to judge anybody. It's always to learn. In life, one of the things that keeps you humble is remembering that you're always a student. No matter how many people you teach, you're always a student. And there's always something to learn from everyone. When you stop thinking that you can learn from somebody, you've crossed that line. When you don't think that somebody new can teach you something, you cross that line into arrogance. Hope this helps. Love you guys. Peace.